my channel in today's video i have the most exciting video <laughs> well at least for myself this month because we are going to be talking all about sunscreen so if you guys want to know why sunscreen is the very most important product in your skincare routine please keep watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i appreciate all the likes you guys give me because it helps boost my channel out to the rest of the youtube world I know that my all about skincare videos are not the most popular on my channel, but sometimes analytics and metrics and all that stuff doesn't matter. <laughs> this is my channel and I like bringing content that I appreciate, that I like watching, and I love helping people. So even if only two of you guys watch these videos, if two people are helped, that means the world to me. This platform is a way for me to creatively express myself, but also help you guys out as well. And if you have seen me all over my Instagram, which I'll place my Instagram handle across the screen, you will know that I am a huge proponent of wearing sunscreen. Sunscreen is the most important product in your skincare routine. I know a lot of people, even if they're starting out, if they are like skincare gurus, they use a cleanser, maybe a moisturizer and a serum, but sunscreen is something that will absolutely change the game for you. So today we are gonna debunk some myths. So if you want to see what the top myths all about sunscreen are, what type of sunscreen you should be wearing, what I recommend, things that I've recently started using, let's get into it. True or false, you need sunscreen in every season, rain or shine. What do you guys think? That is true. A lot of people think unless the sun is directly beaming onto your lovely gorgeous skin, you don't need sunscreen. Even on cloudy overcast days, you still need sunscreen. The bottom line is that the sun's damaging and harmful rays are penetrating the atmosphere and your environment even on cloudy days. Next. If you wear a sunscreen, you won't get a tan. Ooh, that's a spicy one. What do you guys think? If you wear sunscreen, you absolutely will get a tan. I know that's a reason why a lot of people may not wear sunscreen. You know, there are various reasons I myself didn't always wear a sunscreen, but specifically in the summertime, I like to get a little tan. But please note that you can get a tan even if you wear a sunscreen, you guys. It's just so important to protect your skin. Please, I beg of you. And you can still get your beautiful bronze glow on even with wearing sunscreen. Next statement, SPF 100 is most effective because it has a super high SPF rating. What do you guys think about that? Do, 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 do. That is in fact a myth. So the recommendation from most dermatologists would be an SPF 30 every day. Now, if you are in fact at the beach, at the pool, climbing a mountain, what have you, SPF 50 plus is recommended. But once you reach the threshold of about 60 to 70, anything above that is only blocking like two to three percent of the rays of the sun so wearing an spf 100 it's not giving a substantial amount of more protection versus an spf 50. honestly they just sell those to get your money just being honest my next statement this is a super spicy one this is one that i see a lot of people making this mistake the spf found within your makeup or skincare we're talking moisturizers primers things like that is enough protection what do you guys think? This is something I see a lot of men and women say um, when I'm asking, are you wearing a sunscreen? They're like, oh yeah, well I wear a moisturizer with SPF 15 or my foundation has SPF in it. So that is a myth. The SPF found within like a moisturizer or foundation or primer or mist is not enough. You would roughly need one full container of said product to get adequate coverage. So you may be thinking that, well, my makeup has SPF 15, that's enough. First of all, you need SPF 30 and it doesn't work like SPF 15 and 15. It doesn't work that way, it's not like simple mathematics. So if you think that's enough protection, it's more than likely not enough, but I am one of those type of harm reduction psychologist. So if you feel comfortable wearing your SPF 15 moisturizer and you hate wearing a sunscreen, I'm all for it. I love that you're just doing something, but just know that that's not adequate protection. So yeah, food for thought. <laughs> My next statement, which we kind of covered in the first one, as long as you're indoors, you do not need a sunscreen. So even sitting here today in my beauty room filming, the sun is like shining through the clouds a little bit, but since I'm inside, do you think I need a sunscreen? That's a myth, as long as the sun 
is anywhere visible and you can see light that is not artificial, you need a sunscreen, okay? Driving in the car, at your office, on the playground with your children, sitting on your back deck. It doesn't matter where you are, you guys. I always love the memes or the photos that I find online of like truck drivers looking at the damage that the sun does to their skin on their left side because they drive so much. It's actually pretty jarring. So it doesn't matter if you're indoor, in your car, or outside, you still need a sunscreen. Like, yes, it's that important. Oh, another spicy one. People of color do not need sunscreen. This is one I wish I could send to certain members of my family whom I always tell to wear a sunscreen every day, and they say, Black don't crack. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Do people of color need a sunscreen? People of color not needing sunscreen is a myth. I know we've all heard the saying, black don't crack or brown don't crack, whatever your ethnicity or color is. We all need a sunscreen, okay? The melanin in your skin is protective, but not enough. You still need a sunscreen, even if you have a deeper skin tone. Okay, so now that I've covered some of the myths and facts about sunscreen, I also wanna give you guys some facts about sunscreen because I know for myself, I didn't wear sunscreen for the longest time just because I have oily skin. It never felt nice on my face, and it's really all about finding the perfect sunscreen for you. And like I said, I'm a harm reduction model psychologist, so if wearing your makeup with SPF 15 is all you can do, baby, I'm here for it. I would rather you have a little bit of protection versus nothing. So you wanna pick a sunscreen that is broad spectrum, meaning it protects against UVA and UVB rays. Now, most sunscreens you're gonna find on the market today are all broad spectrum. The one I currently use is a broad spectrum SPF 30, so you're getting full protection across the board. That's really important, but like I said, most sunscreens today are broad spectrum. Sunscreens should also be combined with vitamin C, and I will link my All About Skincare Vitamin C video down below. Vitamin C is a powerful, potent antioxidant. I have mine here with me from SkinCeuticals, which is my absolute favorite. Now you guys know, it's super expensive. I'm not recommending anyone go out and spend upwards of $160 on a vitamin C, only if you want to. But vitamin C is really protective in nature. It works with your sunscreen because it's an antioxidant. So this also helps to protect you from the damaging rays of the sun. It also helps to brighten your skin and even your skin tone. This is a really nice antioxidant. So I always tell people, these are the two products you need in your routine. And actually, my sunscreen has vitamin C in it. Double whammy. Also, you may not know, or maybe you have, sunscreen should be applied every two hours when you're in the sun. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because I have on a full face of makeup right now. I'm not going to be taking off my makeup and reapplying my sunscreen. Now there are some products such as mists and powders that you can apply that actually have sunscreen in them and I'll link them down below. I do not reapply my sunscreen when I'm wearing makeup. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't. Like I said, I'm a harm reduction model psychologist. As long as you are doing what you can do, I'm here for it. Now, when it comes to my body, when I am outside in the sun, let's say I hit my pool, I will reapply my sunscreen every two hours, even more frequently if I'm actually in the pool because the water dilutes the sunscreen specifically specifically depending on what type of sunscreen it is, and we'll get into that in a moment. But you want to make sure you're reapplying your sunscreen if you can. Now, if you can't, I just love it that you've applied it overall. Big ups to you, high five, because that matters. But you really should be reapplying it every two hours. And my last tip that I kind of spoke on earlier is that when you are outside in direct sunlight, it is recommended for you to wear an SPF of 50 or above. And yes, the SPF that I use for my body, and we'll get into this, is actually SPF 50 and it has vitamin C. Okay, now let's talk about how much sunscreen you should be wearing. When it comes to applying sunscreen for your face and neck, you want to use two fingers. You can use any two you like, but you need the length of two fingers. Usually that is enough for your face and your neck. I do a dot, 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 and then I rub it all in. If it looks white at first, give it like two minutes or so to settle in because a lot of times that white cast will dissipate and you'll just look fabulous. So how much sunscreen to apply to your face and neck? The length of two fingers. If you always remember that, you guys will be good. Now, when we're thinking about the skin on our body, we want to think about how much sunscreen we will put in a shot glass. And I know for those of you guys who are around my age, 
you know how much a shot glass holds. So when we're thinking about the sunscreen needed for our body, a whole shot glass full or just put it all over your body. So I really like spray sunscreens just because they're a little easier to spread. So I spray one stripe down each arm. I spray my stomach, my chest, my back and my legs and I rub it all in equivalent to about a shot glass full. <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, let's talk about how to choose the right sunscreen. There are two basic categories of sunscreens. You have physical and chemical. Physical and chemical. So both are really effective and they neither have to be thick, pasty, or white. It's all about the specific formula and how it interacts with your specific skin. So physical or mineral sunscreens physically sit on top of your skin to reflect sun's rays. So they are not absorbed in your skin, they physically sit on top. These usually contain zinc oxide or titanium oxide, I believe, and they sometimes give you a white cast, but they don't always have to and that also goes into which specific formulations you're using but sometimes they are thicker, they are a little heavier, but these are best for water sports. So if you're gonna be outside, you definitely want to use a physical sunscreen because it's sitting on top and physically blocking the rays of the sun. They're also better for those of us who have hyperpigmentation because they're not absorbing to the skin, so they're minimally irritating. Okay, on the contrary, we have chemical sunscreen and chemical sunscreens are absorbed into the skin. They're absorbed into the skin and they convert the UV rays to heat. So if you have sensitive skin, you don't want to use a chemical sunscreen because that could cause irritation, inflammation, anything like that. I would steer clear. Now, like I said, it definitely matters what specific formula you're choosing, but if you've never used a sunscreen before, this is what I would recommend. If you have very sensitive skin, I would go with a physical sunscreen. So these sunscreens are usually more lightweight and great for everyday use. They are great for people who have really oily skin because of the lightweight texture. Once again, it's gonna depend for everybody. Usually, if you have acne, you want to use a chemical sunscreen. They're thinner, they layer more easily, but they can be irritating, so keep that in mind. They're also better for babies and everyday use because they are thinner and they are absorbed into the skin. Okay, so now that I've given you guys kind of just a good once over all about sunscreen, which is so important for the health of your skin, we also want to be preventing skin cancer. I want to share with you guys my favorites and the ones that I recommend. So the current sunscreen that I am using, that I've been using for probably a little over a month, is the SkinCeuticals Daily Brightening UV Defense Sunscreen, which is Broad Spectrum SPF 30, and this helps to brighten and even your skin tone. This is a newer sunscreen to my routine. I was traditionally using the next one that I'm gonna share, but I have been experiencing so much acne. I have been really, really stressed and life is just hitting me all at once and I have hormonal acne which is triggered by stress. So I am like just breaking out constantly. Because of such, I have to use a lot of products which can be a little drying and irritating. So using a hydrating sunscreen and to me having oily skin, this is really hydrating. This is perfect. It's hydrating, it's soothing, it's comforting, it's nourishing. When I apply it, my skin just feels good. It doesn't feel parched or dehydrated. So I've really been loving this. It also has vitamin C in it to help um, brighten your skin tone and also act as a protective ingredient as well. So it helps to even discoloration. Now I have a ton of hyperpigmentation, so I'm not gonna see any immediate results or anything from that. But when I apply this, my skin glows. I love it, I think I'm converted. Now, this is the sunscreen that I've been using for a couple of years. This is the Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Oil-Free Sunscreen, SPF 50. This is great for oily and acne skin. It doesn't break me out, it doesn't leave a white cast. Once again, apply it down the length of two fingers and let it absorb a little bit. This is amazing, but it's very matte. My skin has been very acneic, so something like this is a little too dry. I need something that's nourishing and hydrating, but when my skin is at its prime and I'm not breaking out, this is great because it's oil free and it doesn't break me out and it has a really nice just mattified texture. I love it. Next we have the sunscreen I've been using for my body for years. If you guys have seen any of my videos in the summertime, you already know. This is my Super Goop Antioxidant Infused Sunscreen Mist with Vitamin C and it is Broad Spectrum SPF 50 and it has Vitamin C. It is a 10 across 
the board. Now, I love this because being a larger woman and being hot in the summertime, the last thing I wanna do is lather something thick and heavy and goopy on my body. So a spray sunscreen is really important for me. I like it, it's easy to use. I can use it on the go. I use it at the pool, the beach, what have you. It also has vitamin C in it, so it's really protective in nature. They're not too expensive, but they're usually on sale for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They're actually on sale right now. I think you get a three pack for the price of two. So I'll link that down below at Nordstrom should you wish to shop that sale but I love this I've been purchasing it for years it's a staple now two new sunscreens that I have received I'm actually gonna be doing <clears throat> collaboration with black girl sunscreen I have not yet tried these but my girls on YouTube and Instagram are always raving about them so I can't wait to do so the first this is the original this is the black girl sunscreen moisturizing sunscreen lotion for face and body this is broad spectrum SPF 30 and it's also water resistant it's an ultra sheer no white residue fragrance free sunscreen then we have the black girl sunscreen make it matte so this is formulated for my oily guys and gals this is Broad Spectrum SPF 45, ultra sheer, fragrance free, and water resistant for up to 80 minutes. I have not used these because I am still waiting to try them out. But so many of my babes have raved about this, specifically for those of us with pigmented, deeper skin. It's really hard sometimes to find a sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast. So I love that Black Girl Sunscreen is a product on the market that's made specifically for us. I can't wait to try each of these out and I will definitely update you guys on how I'm liking them. And the last product I actually received today, I received this from Octoly. I'm gonna be reviewing this on my Instagram. This is the Color Wow Pop and Lock. Pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. I threw my back out dancing to this song a few years ago. It was a mess, if you know, you know. Anyway, so this is a high shine gloss finish protectant for your hair that actually has SPF in it. Now, if you guys can't tell, I have a lot of gray hair and I've noticed that my gray is starting to turn yellow and I was doing a little bit of research and it said, oh, look at Chloe back there. Monster, monster, Chloe. Chloe, are you alive? Oh. Hi, baby girl. You just relaxing, enjoying the couch? Okay. So anyway, I have a lot of gray hair and it's starting to turn yellow. And I've been doing a little bit of research and one thing you can do to help prevent that is to protect it from the sun. I never thought about using a sunscreen for my hair, but it totally makes sense. So I'm gonna be using this to see how it reacts with my hair. I think I'm gonna use it when I wash my hair next, but I'm really excited to see how this works because I never knew that gray hair turns yellow until I was looking at my hair the other day, like why is my gray hair not white? And now it's starting to turn yellow. So if you've dealt with gray hair yellowing, let me know if you've used this product, let me know down below because I'm really excited to start using it and I will be reviewing it on my Instagram this month okay you guys so those are all the products and all the good yummy tips and myths that we debunked and everything like that that I wanted to share with you guys today sunscreen is something that I'm really passionate about I know people who have had skin cancer I know people who have really dealt with the damaging and negative effects of the Sun and it's something that is so simple that we can all add into our routine I wish everybody could use a sunscreen every day but I understand that some people might just want to opt for a foundation with an SPF. But if you are in the market for a new sunscreen, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions down below. I'll be sure to link all the products that I talked about. I love you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and if you want this shirt, I'll link it down below of the sun. Huh, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.